Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we do some practice examples on HCF and LCM and we discuss few formulas related to HCF and LCM. You know, previous classes, we already discussed about what's HCF and what's LCM. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, the first formula that related to HCF and LCM is product of two numbers is equal to product of their HCF and LCM value. So we are going to use this formula in our aptitude uh, examples. Uh, we do one of the example. Let's given that HCF of two numbers is 11 and their LCM is given as 693. If one of the number is 77, find the other number. Product of two numbers is equal to product of HCF multiplied by LCM. So we are using the same formula. Other number is equal to 11 multiplied by 693. HCF multiplied by LCM divided by the second number. Let the two numbers be N1 multiplied by N2 that is equal to LCM multiplied by HCF. So if you want the other number means divided by one number should be moved to this side. So divided by 77 which is 99. It is very simple. Now coming to the second formula. Co-primes. Two numbers are said to be co-prime numbers if their HCF is, equal, is 1. Means the two numbers should be divided only with 1. Any number, any other number should not be divided by, uh, de, should not divide that uh, two numbers. Then we call them as a uh, co-prime numbers. It means the highest common factor should be only 1. Let's take one example. Which of the following is a co-prime pair? 16, 62. This is not a co-prime co because uh, two, 16 divided by 2, 62 divided by 2. Other than 1, you should not, it should not be divided by any other number. 18, 25. Yes, this is a co-prime number. 18 divided by 1, 25 divided by 1. Any, you take any other number. The other numbers are not going to divide both the numbers. If you take 2, 2 divide, 18 divided by 2, 25 is not divided by 2. If you take 3, 18 divided by 3, but 25 is not divided by 3. Like that, if you, if you check that, 18, 25 is the co-prime pair. Next, 21, 35. No, 7 divides 21, 35. So, it is not a co-prime number. 23, 92. Yes, it is also, it, it is not a co-prime number. Because 23 divides 23, and 23 divides 92 92 is divided by 23 so it is not a co-prime number so the co-prime number is 18 comma co-prime pair is 18 comma 25 now coming to the next example example third one HCF of 3, 2, 4, 0, 3, 6, 0, 0 these two numbers and a third number is given is 36 means HCF 3 numbers is 36 and their LCM is given as this is the LCM value. We need to identify the third number. It's very very it's it's bit to un, it's very very important to understand this example. So from the definitions of HCF and LCM, in our last classes we discussed the definitions of HCF and LCM using factorization method. So we use the definitions to identify the third number. How, how we do that? Uh, 3 to 4 0. You, if you take the factorization method, you can write it as 2 cube, 3 power 4 and 5 multiplied by 5. 3 6 0 0 can be written as 2 power 4 multiplied by 3 square multiplied by 5 square. HCF is given as 36 that is 2 square multiplied by 3 square. From the definition of HCF, HCF is the lowest powers of common factors. Lowest powers of common factors. LCM is the highest powers of all the factors. So from this, in the HCF, we are having 2 square. Here we are having 2 power 4. Here we are having 2 cube. Lowest powers means 2 square is missing. The third number should contain 2 square multiplied by LCM is the highest powers of all the factors. In the LCM, we are having 3 power 5. In the two numbers, 3 square is there, 3 power 4 is there, 3 power 5 is missing. So it should be present in the third number. So that's why 3 power 5. The third number should contain 3 power 5. Similarly, 5 square is there in the LCM. Here we are having 5 square. So no need. 7 square is there in the LCM. But in here we don't have any 7 square. So we have to place 7 square in the third number. So the, th the third number con contains 2 square multiplied by 3 power 5 multiplied by 7 square. 
this is how we use the definitions of HCF and LCM to identify the third number. So now coming to the next example, example for the ratio of two numbers is given as 3 is to 4. Under HCF is given as 4, their LCM should be what's the LCM value? We have to identify the LCM value. It's very very the, the key point you have to understand. Let the numbers be 3x, 4x. Ratio of the numbers is 3 is to 4. You place anything in the x, the numbers will be in the ratio of 3 and 4. 3 is to 4. But it was given that uh, HCF is given as 4. So x should be 4. Think about it. If you place 6 in place of x, 6, 3 is 18, 6, 4 is 24. 18, 24 are the numbers. Then HCF will be 6 value. Because 6 is going to divide both the numbers. So the point you have to understand, it was given that HCF is 4. Means the numbers will be 3 multiplied by 4, 4 multiplied by 4. You have to place x is equal to 4. So that is the point you have to understand. Numbers are 3, 12 and 16. If you know the two numbers, if you, you can identify the LCM value. 12, 16 LCM should be 2. 2 times 6, 2 times 8, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 3 times 1, two, uh, 4 as it is, 2 times 2, 2, 2 is 4, 1 as it is, 2 1 is 2, 1 as it is. So finally we got 1 1. The sum product of all these will be the LCM value 48. So this is how we identify the LCM if uh, it was given that uh, the ratio value. So hope you understand these examples in our coming classes. We are doing uh, most complex examples in our coming classes. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.